Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. She's charged with murder for the death of a patient. But tonight, a former nurse is out of jail thanks to a judge's ruling. Investigators say that 32-year-old Maria Witt killed a World War II veteran after giving him an overdose of morphine at the VA hospital. Several people pleaded for Witt's release, but the judge didn't grant it without some restrictions. Cheryl Glassford is live in Mount Sterling now with our top story at 6. Cheryl? Well, no one came to the door when we knocked on Witt's home here on Fox Run Trail in Mount Sterling earlier. So we're not sure if she's here yet, but we're told if she's not already, she will be very soon and under 24-hour house arrest. A federal judge released 32-year-old Maria Witt from jail Wednesday and placed her on 24-hour house arrest in the care of her mother. Well, she's, she's on 24-hour house arrest, which means she has to be at home at all times unless and she's going to court or unless she's uh, going to a doctor's appointment or, or perhaps, perhaps church services or, or an emergency arises. Other than that, she has to remain at home. Witt is charged with the murder of 90-year-old World War II veteran Jesse Chain. She's accused of giving him a lethal dose of morphine while he was in the intensive care unit of Lexington's VA hospital back in 2006. Witt's attorney says they're happy with today's decision. We're, we're pleased with that. We believe that's fair. and it, it allows her the opportunity to, to work on her defense, and it also allows her the opportunity to care for her children, both of which are <laughs> extremely important to her right now. Also in court, Witt's mother provided the judge with a list of more than 20 people who would be willing to check on Witt while she was under house arrest, including Mount Sterling's mayor. Witt was to return to the Grayson County Jail for processing and will then return home. Well, she is facing a serious charge, but she's presumed innocent of that charge, and she's pled not guilty to that charge, and she's not been a judge to be guilty of anything. And she has no prior criminal history, uh, and so it's, I think it's very fair and reasonable, and I think the judge made the right decision. Now, we contacted Mount Sterling Mayor Gary Williamson and asked him why his name was on the list that Witt's mother gave to the judge of people willing to check on Witt while she was here under house arrest. He told us he has no opinion on the case, but that he's just an old family friend of the Witts. Live in Mount Sterling, Cheryl Glass for WKYT 27 News First. The victim's family plans on filing a lawsuit next week, but they would not say who it will be against.